Outside of absolute population numbers, the most remarked upon change we foresee is the ageing of Asia's population. Globally, the population of the elderly will more than double by 2050 from around 10% today to over 22%. Staggeringly, in Australia, life expectancy in 2050 will be around 95 years for men and 96 for women. The percentage of those 65 and over in our region is expected to rise sharply in around 2050 over 65s in China will account for 24% of the population, in Korea 35%, Japan 37%. Those 80 and over, a population that well, we currently associate as higher cost, higher dependency, will account for 4.5% of the population in Australia, 6.5% in China. In Singapore and Thailand, those over 80 will make up 11 or 12% of the entire population. Australia must be open to these trends, ready to compete on the world stage and to nurture the individuals, the creative people, the groups and the organisations that will reinvent the way we do things. It will be openness to ideas, trade, investment and technological change that will be the key to addressing the challenges of democracy. Because Australia believes in the opportunities of demography, we are deeply committed to working more closely with our partners across the region in the years ahead. We're placing Australia at the forefront of capturing the benefits of the rapid changes we're witnessing. In a world where demographics can work against you, we are in a truly exciting region. A powerful set of opportunities await an enterprising nation that is ready to engage in our region. Ladies and gentlemen, we are exquisitely placed and geography will be our destiny. Thank you.